Hey YouTube, thanks for watching my video about the Yamaha XT250 Dual Sport. Actually, I'm not going to talk about the bike much in this video. I'm going to talk about riding it in cold weather. and <clears throat> Because I, I was talking to somebody the other day. And I've had a couple questions about this actually. But I said, oh yeah, I was out riding my motorcycle. They were, you were out riding your motorcycle? It was like 30 degrees. I said, yeah, you know, I ride in that that weather. I'm like, really? Isn't it freezing? I'm like, well, you've ridden a snowmobile, right? And they're like, oh, yeah. I'm like, well, it was just really about the gear you were wearing. You were probably plenty warm, yeah? They're like, yeah. So they said, what do you, what riding gear do you have for cold for a motorcycle? And I told them. I've had a couple other people ask about that. And I'm a person that I like to get a lot of use out of my motorcycle and any any toy I own, which I don't own very many. Um, but I like to get used, so the more I can ride it, the better. So if it's a little bit chilly and I can still ride, I'll go ride. And so I'm going to talk about just a few pieces of gear that I have that make it so uh, I can ride in pretty cold weather i can't i don't know what's the coldest i've been it's 32 degrees today it's a beautiful day and sunny it makes a difference i don't like uh, if water's coming down snowing or raining or and it's cold maybe not but day like today hey let's go in fact i'm just so dirty i gotta i'm gonna put down and uh clean this little dude gotta uh, take care of it a little um so uh, yeah, what do I ride? I'll start with I'll start with pants first. So these are the ARC um, Advanced Rider Comfort brand, which I believe is the in-house brand for Rocky Mountain ATV out of Payson, Utah, not so far from where I live actually. And they're the Backcountry Foul Weather Pant, and um, they're great, 100% waterproof, and warm in fact under them i just wear a bottom layer like omni wool long john type thing synthetic uh blend and these and they're great they do have nice venting this is a vent big vent if you need to um, get some airflow going uh, little pads built in against the arc brand um looks like the pakistanis know how to do a good pant which it, it is really good and less than 100 bucks i think like 80 no i think i got these on the black friday for 65 or 70 dollars maybe i don't know and i think their regular price is 80 so super nice pant big pocket um you can you can um customize the fit a bit with the velcro it's got a nice Quick latch, uh, big, um, nice heat inseam, big zipper, GoPro to tighten it down. Awesome pant, plenty warm. Like today, 32 degrees, I'll be, my legs won't be cold at all. So, and again, just with a, with a nice bottom layer. I don't wear a pair of pants or anything else underneath it. So that's the, it's the pant that I wear, and then... And I should say, I'm a price sensitive guy. I look around, I'll comparison shop. There's some awesome brands of apparel out there that I'm sure I'd be, I'd love them and I could buy whatever, but I look for value out of a brand. So I feel like I'm getting superior value for the money that I spend. And so, yeah, and I have XT250 for a motorcycle. That'll kind of give you a clue, you know. You look for something that has a ton of utility that that's not going to cost you a lot to own and or acquire. So, and that leads me to my jacket. So there's a ton of awesome jackets out there, but I looked at something. I wanted something that was four season. I guess four season is a little relative because once it's warm enough, you know, I'm only wearing a jersey and maybe pads depending on what the ride is. So... Um, but I wanted something that had really good venting, and this is a fly, um, the, the name's not on the jacket anywhere, but it's the Terra Trek 4 fly jacket, 
and these these vents are huge and vent a ton and you have venting on the shoulders as well and nice pockets um, pockets in in the inside on both sides and actually I don't even have the liner in here it has a zip in liner for when it's super cold today I won't even put it in I'll just wear a like a fleece, fleece mid layer like if I was skiing and I'll be I'll be toasty and um, it has a good collar. I do wear, I do wear um, a neck wrap. I don't even know what you call it. Just a thing that goes around my neck. You know, between you know that spot between the body of your helmet and the top of your collar. And so I put the neck thing on in the cold, block that wind, perfect. And uh, but this jacket has, you know, it's adjustable as far as your fit and. You can actually get a little more room out of it if you have heavy stuff on. And that's the, the liner. It has the little snaps to clip into the sleeve to keep it um, from moving around. I'll just keep it back here in this back pocket. So, but that jacket, I mean, like I could get a climb that was awesome for $850. This jacket, less than, um, it's like one, I want to say 180, less than 200. Um, and I got it, uh, best price I could find with free shipping was uh, Revzilla. Revzilla. And they have a good video review on this jacket on their site too. So I've been really happy with it. And with boots, it's just a pair of boots that I've been defaulting to for riding most of the time now are these um, Malcolm Malcolm Smith Racing uh, Dual, it's just called Dual Sport Boot and uh, they're the three buckle boot but I think they give me good ankle support and they're a little lower profile if I'm doing real rough stuff I have a pair of uh, Fox Comp 5's uh, four buckle They're a little higher profile and I like how these MSR boots Fit on this XT250 on the oversized foot peg The space between the oversized foot peg and the shifter is not a uh, ton And so you saw I have a size 11 boot on my my Fox comp 5 uh, It's just a little bulkier up front and but I, I wear those in the rough stuff but and though that's a value brand too, or that value boot on Fox Comp Five, it's like maybe 120, 125 dollars. I think I got that at Rocky Mountain ATV as well. Like I got the pants. But these Malcolm Smith racing boots, I got those off of um, Iron Pony for less than a hundred bucks. So I thought that was a really nice value for those, for these uh, MSR dual sport boot. It's a comfy boot, even walking around in, it's good. Um, so, and what else? Oh, gloves, you know, I've just been, I don't have a good glove suggestion. I haven't really looked around much. Um, if it's really bad weather, I throw on a pair of old duck, 100% waterproof duck hunting gloves with a Gore-Tex Thensolate glove. It's a little lower profile. It's not puffy, you know. Um, and those are good, but typically, like on a day like today, I have this nice pair of driving gloves that blocks of wind I don't even know what brand they are. They were a Christmas gift a few years ago. And um, I've just been wearing those. So, uh, yeah, I don't have a real good... I don't know what a real good... Um, you know, with some finger armor... Uh, insulated waterproof riding glove I don't know you tell me if you got a good suggestion and again just know I'm price sensitive because you can spend about a lot of money on a glove like that so that's it thanks for watching my video as always first take one take no editing it's kind of how we roll on XC 250 all day and as always ride safe everybody and stay warm Hey, here we are. Oh, much better, right? The XT250 is looking much better. 
down here at the car wash and I was just digging, it was difficult to spray out down there and right down in there in the skid plate but I will use a tool and get the rest of the birds nest out of there so I'm running on the, a lot of weeds but there we go sunset sunset's coming up got a good get home before it drops below oh wait it already is below freezing yeah we'll talk to you later ride safe everybody